Okay, 1986 Tops Football, Wax Pack, number 17. We should keep that on there, actually. I'm sorry, number 5, 17 cards in the pack. Excuse me. Uh, for those of you who are not listening before, I opened up, I'm sorry, I uh, opened up a lot of 1986 Tops Football back in the day. Um, my family bought 8 or 10 boxes to give out a bowling party, party at Route 9 in Sayreville, New Jersey, uh, back in 1986, late 1986. And, uh, you know, we uh, gave away boxes that now sell for over $1,000 a box. We paid 8 bucks. Yeah, how about that? Uh, thanks very much, Ted. Looks like you're on board with the little special I just ran. Congratulations. So, uh, John, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to email you Ted's bonus. How about that? Okay. Instead of doing the uh, post it. <clears throat> Well, you don't have an Excel spreadsheet set up here, so. I mean, you could use you could use anything there. I mean, not right next to thirty. I'm just going to do this for now. Uh, 1973 tops. Chef, we're on top of this, bud. We're emailing John. We're going to do Excel spreadsheets starting tomorrow. So it's going to be a little bit easier for everyone to keep track. Uh, set free spot. All right, great. You're in, Ted. Hey, Kev. Good luck in this 86 football pack. I'm really looking forward to opening this. I encourage uh, those of you who are buying 86 football from us, especially it looks like they're coming out pretty sharp, please make sure you screen your commons. Um, I can't speak for the nines, but I definitely know tens in that set, you know, especially the low pop. Stuff goes for good money. Dion Cherry. is pack number five. Kevin Butler, Gary Anderson, certainly remember both of those guys. Butler won the Super Bowl with the Bears. Lomas Brown. This Lomas is rookie. This might have been his rookie. He was drafted in 85, so this is his first cards in 86. Lomas Brown rookie. How you doing? Wow. I think he was a decent player. He's good offensive lineman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lynn Dickey was not a good quarterback. Then again, he was a better quarterback than myself. I would have loved to be a backup. Absolutely. No problem with that. Oh, here we go. Very nice. Got a Joe Montana. Pack fresh. See how the centering looks after I sleeve it up for you, Kev? Maybe a hair off, but I think it's still got a chance at a nine. Yeah, absolutely. Especially in 86 football like that, 80 basketball guys, don't take your comments for granted, please. And if anyone ever wants me to look at your, like, your batch before it gets shipped out, please email me, latenatjustcollect.com. We'll get it done. We're not perfect. Sometimes, you know, it'll go out. We'll have to come back. Um, you know, we got a lot going on here. But, you know, we want to help you guys. We want to make sure that... Uh, uh, you know, we get the most out of the cards that we can. And as I did mention earlier, for those of you uh, who were not here, because so Ted, I'm not sure if you heard this, but I did get an email from Steve Sloan. I'm looking forward to chatting with him the next day or so. Um, and I think Chris as well tomorrow. Um, I think there's, there's, I want to double check his email, but PSA is suggesting that when we hook up with them about things like, you know, Pete Rose in the future or Tony Dorsett or breaking a 55 Bowman cello pack, as long as we talk about it ahead of time with them and we confirm it, um, and obviously there's going to have to be an official process, I believe that they're willing to uh, you know, start start considering putting the stuff on the holders. I want to just talk to Steve more and understand the, the email a little bit further, but I'm really excited about that for everyone. <laughs> Bob, I couldn't keep a straight face there, bud. Very good. Yeah, Jason, I've done that myself several times with collections I bought back in the day. And you're like, oh, you know, no one cares about 77 football. Meanwhile, like there's rookie cards in there that sell for tons of money in high grade. I um, mean, I've had 77 football cut cases and oh, what I did with those cards. Um, terrible. Just terrible. 
Tony Dorsett. By the way, PSA does grade these. I mean, I don't know that they're that popular, but I'm going to throw it in a card saver for you there, Kev. Oh, Jason, if you ever sell a vending, uh, let me know. I would probably, well, I can't guarantee I wouldn't open it, but I would try to save that. I mean, I just love 86 football. I don't really sell it. I mean, you know, I sell the packs for us, but like singles, check out Just Collect. I, I hardly ever sell 86 football. I think this is Keith Millard, a uh, rookie card. Sorry, I know it's Keith Millard. I think it's his rookie card. <laughs> I'm not sure, Ted. I'll have to ask John. Um, John, do we have any PSA reveals come back, you know? Tomorrow. Okay, great. So, Ted, I think we have to double check one for tomorrow, uh, meaning we have to, you know, sort it out and such. Um, but I do think that we're going to have one to reveal uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, Mikey's going to be back breaking with us. It's a very nice card. So, for example, Doug, if you don't mind looking up at psacard.com, absolutely. The card, uh, card number two sixty four, Carl Xander. I mean, this card looks spot on, Kev. So, I'm not sure of the pop. We're going to check it out for you. Robert, I am going to need some more card savers, please. Card saver ones, thanks. Definitely, guys, check the pop report at psacard.com. Wow, this is a really nice card, too, back-to-back. -to -back. So, Doug, you let me know on that one. So, 19, what year? Uh, 1986 Tops Football. And the first one I want you to look up is card number 264, but I'm going to have you check another one right after that, that Dave Waymer was really nice. So, wow, you hit a really nice run here, Kev. If we get a Jerry Rice, I think I'm going to freak out. These are really nice. Very cool. I'm going to have Doug look that up as well, but... One card at a time. Wow. I mean, uh, this has got, I think, I got. I can't tell. All right, so 264, Carl Xander. Yeah. Uh, a 10 is a, a 4, and 9 is 23. So there's only four 10s. Yes. So there's only four 10s in Carl Xander, so you should definitely double-check that, Kev. How about card number 347? Dave Weimer, yep. uh, 10 is 12, 9 is 40. So 12 9s. Yes. All right, so not as rare on that one, 12 9s. Uh, 12 10s. 12 10s, I'm sorry. Yeah. And then, yeah, not Jimmy Giles. And then the last one is 240, check out, please. Sean Landetta, I certainly remember him. Okay, so 240, Jeffrey Dale. So we got the 10s are 15, 15 9s are 30. 15 10s on Dale. So I definitely would consider at least one or two of those, uh, Kev. And look, got a piece of gum on Randy Cross. Randy Cross did make the haul, if I'm not mistaken, right? Did not make the haul. I don't think he did. He was popular. He was a good ball player. A little bit of gum stainage on the back, not too much. Um, but not center ball enough for high grade. College I mean, football hall, they have not pro. Yeah, well, when I say yeah, I don't mean pro. I know I'm in college. Um, very cool. Well, I enjoy that. Love 86 football. It's like taking a stroll down memory lane. All right. So let's see what we got going on here. I'm going to add it. Uh, I'm going to update my um, 30 for 30 here. Sound like Mikey. Uh, I stole this 30 for 30, actually. It's a great idea. Uh, and, of course, guys, when John switches with me in just a few minutes, I am going to pull the $100 snapper for today. Doug will be updating that retroactive to 5 p.m. Yep. And I'll uh, we'll let you know what that's going to be in just a few. So let's see here. Ted, you are in for three spots, bud. Anyone out there going to any good conventions in the next few weeks? Talk to me. I, I mean, you know, I'd love to be going to something good. Uh, Dom, let me check out what you got, bud. So Dom, okay. So what was it? Yep, you got eight spots. And then I'll let everyone know uh, how many more spots we have left in there. All right, guys, there's 12 spots left in the 30 for 30. I also think we're getting closer on the 34 Gowdy hit random. That is... Uh, I think getting down there, it was a 15 spotter. Let me check that out. Well, that's a nice set, Ted. Um, my advice to you is, well, are you are you sitting on it? Like, are you um, 
you know, are you collecting it or are you looking to sell it? My advice is if you're going to sell it, you should at least grade the best cards first. Um, you know, so so you have an idea of uh, you know the value of the best cards. You know, like the the man the second year maze. Um, but yeah, I think that's a great set. Would make a great set break, that's for sure. Wow, Bob. So do you usually hit up the local card store? Very nice, very nice, uh, Ted. Very cool. Um, all right, so let me just check the Gowdy hit random. Ted, was that a favorite set of yours growing up, or do you just end up with that? you know, from a deal or like a collection you bought. Uh, let's see here, guys. So uh, seven spots left in the 65 Philly football, two spots left in the Batman pack, 12 spots left in the 20 card vintage hit random. That's 95 bucks each. Um, check it out in the middle there. There is a 1948 Lee Fade Ruth. Uh, we've never had one of those on here. It's actually why I picked it up because uh, I know how, you know, popular he's got. I know the prices. I mean, look on eBay where people are asking for ones like that are just ragged. And this is probably one of the nicest one and a half I've seen. So um, I thought that was pretty cool. Very nice. Well, Ted, if you need any 52 Bowmans, um, uh, I actually just got back some from PSA. Uh, literally, I got nines, eights, and sevens, and I think a six or two. And like the sixes are smoking. So, you know, if you want me to, uh, to hook you up, just drop me an email. And, um, you know, I'll just try to make a mental note so I don't forget. But, uh you know, like I said, it's one of those things where, like, the sixes, if you're comparing a six from this group of cards of 52 Bowmans for, let's say, like, a regular 52 Bowman six, these were just really fresh cards. We bought them at the National, uh, actually outside the convention. Uh, it was a collection that we picked up that was fresh uh, to the hobby. Um, it was great stuff. Yeah, Ted, that's how I used to collect uh, often. Basically start off with, like, a starter set. You fill it in. You know, you buy stuff, mix it up, get rid of the doubles. That's how I started going to baseball card shows. I would want to sell off my doubles. Um Anyway, folks, uh, 12 spots left in that 1948 Leaf Babe Ruth graded hit random, which, of course, also features a 64 Clemente, 67 Mantle, etc. Um, the Gowdy hit random, folks, has five <laughs> spots left. Um, that was just listed today. 1970 Topps Hockey is one of my favorites. Um, I found my mistake. No, I had a I had a 69 Topps Bobby Orr in a PSA 10. Yeah, 69 Topps Bobby Orr in a PSA 10. A few auctions ago in REA. That sold for like nine thousand or eleven thousand dollars, and so yeah, Bobby Orr in this and seventy tops would sell for about seventy five hundred bucks, probably plus in a ten. What's great about seventy tops hockey? It's a pretty small set, so you know, ten card pack, you never know. Um, really, seventy six tops all pro, I would imagine in football, Bob. Um, so Peyton wouldn't qualify then because he's not uh, an all pro, I would think at that point. What's up, postseason? Welcome back. I'm going to continue to just talk about the site for a second, then I'm going to bust open. Oh, I have one more box in of 96 Select Certified uh, Baseball looking for the Mirror Gold. I can't believe we got one last time. They are not easy to get. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't Jeter, but still, uh, that's awesome. Uh, they're not easy boxes to get. Forget about the, you know, the Mirror Golds. All right, so it's time for trivia. Now, once again, before I ask a trivia question, it's going to be a $10 break credit. I want to make it clear. It's going to be, I mean, I think, you know, relatively easy. Um, just because you think that um, it appears first on your screen, and I have no doubt that it does, folks, we're trying to do the best we can here. Um, and so, uh, meaning to honor, obviously, who's first, but it's what appears on our screen. Um, so... Do the best you can to be as fast as you can. We're going to give away a $10 break credit in just a minute. It's to the person who answers this trivia question first. That's pretty cool, Bob. I like that. <laughs> Michael, yeah, we, that's hysterical. I don't know if you were watching, Michael. Yes, I said Bobby Orr. Check out the 1970 Tops Hockey Pack, Michael. If you've been thinking about picking up a spot, I'm not trying to push you into one or another, but um, 70 Tops Hockey is not easy to find, and the Orr goes for big money. Uh, in high grade. Um, so getting back to uh, uh, the site here, um, GBK has two spots left in the pack. <laughs> Brand new 72 Tops football second series pack is up there. Um, I did put up a 75 Tops baseball cell pack at some point this evening. It wasn't too long ago. And of course, you know, a bunch of other different stuff on there. I don't want to go through every item. Um, let's see if there is any movement for the 30 for 30 list, and then we'll open up another pack. 
Hey, Jason. Thanks, bud, for uh, picking up some spots. We'll check you out and add you to the uh, list. So you got yourself two spots, Jason. Thank you very much. And looks like we have 10 spots left in the 30 for 30. Anxiously waiting John to come over so I can pick out a very nice and, as Mike would like to say, juicy, juicy $100 snapper. All right, so let's do the trivia question now. Uh, once again, uh, I'm going to do our best to uh, you know recognize who's first. Um, I was going to make this one easy, Doug. This one will take a little bit more. I mean, you could still Google it like almost anything else in the world. Sure. But there are two players that supposedly gave Mr. Pete Rose his name, Charlie Hustle. Name those two players. And they got to be the two players I found through Google. $10 break credit. I'm working on it, Jeff. Believe me, diligently every day. Nothing I'm sitting on. So first person to answer correctly, doesn't matter where I see it, as long as I see it right in my chat. $10 break credit to the first person who names the two players who supposedly gave Pete Rose the nickname Charlie Hustle his rookie year. I was, found, I was uh, proud of myself that you find that. It's a nice little uh, nugget of information, you know. Nice try, Matt, but no. Yes, you should not be advising people or texting them. Good guess, Bob, but no. <laughs> yeah, Jason, I've been on this P. Rose kick, of course. He's been so great to us. I figured, uh, you know, let's keep it going. It's a good theme. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, I'm going to give someone a clue. Well, that's one of them, Jeff. You got to name the other one, bud. Jeff, you're 50% of the way there. I'm proud of myself finding a decent question. Of course, not so proud if you find out that you got it wrong. <laughs> right, guys, seriously, it's... Uh, yeah, Mantle is one of them. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do here, guys. Jeff G and Ron P, you guys make a great pair. You're both going to get a $10 break credit in an unprecedented history. You completed the puzzle. Whitey Ford was one. Ron P, Mantle was the other. Read about it. Google.com. It was great. I enjoyed it very much. <laughs> Bobby, hang on to your seatbelt, buddy. Tim, we already got the answer, but you were very close. Almost Okay. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. We got Jeff G. We got Ron P. And I'll tell you what, Tim, you were the first person to actually technically type it in. We're in a good mood. It's holiday season. Three of you folks are getting a $10 break credit instead of one. And I'm going to email John just to make sure that no post-its gets lost. No post-its get lost. You know what I'm saying, Doug? I know what you're saying. All right. Let's see here. Compose JP three different ten dollar break credits. Guys, thanks for participating in the uh, questions um, in the trivia question. I thought that was uh, a fun one. Jeff G, Tim P, Ron P. Congrats, guys! Gotta come your way tomorrow. All right. Let's see what we got next on the agenda. Now you're just getting plain wild, Bobby. Sure. Um, John, how does someone find the sixty nine tops uh, list? I don't have to email. Them. Okay. I told them that I was going to try it today. Now it'll be tomorrow. Okay. So worst case, I'll email you tomorrow, Brian. He's going to try to do it this evening. <laughs> um, all right. So let's get to, um, once again, I'm just going to verify here. I believe we have 10 spots left. Oh, I could be mistaken. I think Keith picked up, uh, yeah, you picked up a gallery spot for yourself. Thanks, bud. So, Keith, you got uh, three entries into 
our 30 for 30, which is actually quickly filling up. It's a pretty good one, plus the two separate spots. All right, so uh, three more down, seven more to go. And by the way, it looks like there's only a couple spots left in the Gaudi hit random. So my suggestion is if you were thinking about it, check it out. Four spots left. Not sure if it'll make it this evening. If we do sell it out tonight, got my word, we'll get Johnny Five to break it. He is the master hit random breaker. Uh, I think it's very exciting when he does it. And lots of fun. So let's go to another personal pack. Uh, John, you think you're pretty close? Yes. All right, great. So, John, I'm going to do another uh, personal pack. Oh, there we go. Guys, I'm going to do a personal pack of 85 Tops Football Cello for my man Thad. Hope all is well. I'm not mistaken you're from Vegas, but I'm not 100% sure. All right. 